guys, Becky here. So we are going to try out some new products. I am going to try out some new products that I've been collecting over the past couple days. Today, uh, the Rite Aid up the road is closing down, so everything was like 50% off. So I got this CoverGirl pore minimizer. It's very runny for a pore minimizer. We're just gonna try it out anyway. So the Exhibitionist mascara was on half off, 10 bucks each. Can you imagine? So this is what we're gonna try today. This is the Saint Ives hydration facial mist uh, it says you can use it before or after your makeup so we're going to try it now oh the mister is amazing wow and it smells so good oh my god oh, for my primer that I always use this is the Kaja Blur Drop, this stuff. I do about two pumps. This is the CoverGirl Pore Minimizer. Hmm. I don't know, I can't really tell. This is a brightener by Neutrogena. I'm just gonna do it right here where I got dark spots. There. This is the Ole Herbun Skin Banana Bright Eye Cream. I have the Neutrogena Healthy Skin Enhancer. It has an SPF of 20, a retinol treatment, sun protection, it's a skin tint. I'll show you what it looks like. my It Cosmetics flat foundation brush. So how does it look? This is the Smashbox Studio Skin Flawless. I had to get like a darker shade because my concealers were looking so light. I heard this was pretty good. I do like the peach because it can cancel out any darkness. So I'm going to go ahead and put on the powder. I really, really like this powder. They're just too young and tasty. You don't understand them, Mom. You just don't understand how tasty they are. <laughs> I'm going to set my under eyes with Huda's pound cake. So I'm just going to press that in and then kind of dust the excess away. And I'm going to take a little bit of that powder. You can really use any powder, but. I don't feel like pulling out another one. Love this powder. I want to get the uh, spray. Now, I raised hell about it because it had all the alcohol in it. But I actually tried it in the store and I was like, oh my God. And people were saying that the spray, it is strong, but it didn't bother me. It has like that Huda smell, the her signature scent. This is Oh Dear. These shorts I got from um from Victoria's Secret. These are the gray ones. I do have black ones. I love these. And this shirt is the cutest. It's got a slit in the back. You want to look. I'm just 
just gonna put that all over the lid. Camouflage. Now we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. All right, and just to kind of blend that so there's no harsh lines, I like to take this Sigma Diffused Crease Brush. I've had this forever. And I just kind of like do like this and it just kind of blends the edges like I barely need to do anything this is like a great brush start off with camouflage this is a great color under eyes this is a max sun soaked stripped bronzer Just to add a little bit of warmth, I'm gonna take this Fenty bronzer. And this is just to add warmth because it's a little bit warmer than the other bronzer. See how warm that is? The brow product by NYX. It is the fill and fluff. But this is how it looks. It's so black. I was expecting like black brown because my hourglass is not that black. Maybe it is. Okay, and the brush, this is the brush head. Like a toothbrush. So we're just gonna just to fluff them up. So like to draw like a line like that and kind of push it up. I don't want to do too much because this is I feel like it's a bit dark. See, this product's a bit, I don't want to say hard, but, but it's uh, not as soft. And it's not messy either, like, I'm sitting here brushing it and it's like all over the place. Naturally black, not sharpie black. Now for the primer, the Marc Jacobs Velvet Primer is the absolute best primer. The exhibition is 90%, like the results. What? We'll see. Four out of five saw more dramatic 
look with each coat. Eight out of ten said the formula. Oh, those brushes. I hate these brush heads. I'm sorry, my expectations for mascara are like so high. It's starting to smell old. This might go back. I'm not crazy about it. We're gonna try this uh, Giovanni Disturbia. I like the brush head on this. Look at this. But I love it. I love it. Look at the difference between this one and this one. More volume. And it smells so good. We'll do another coat of this to give it a fair chance. It smells. It smells. Max Chromographic Pencil in NC15, NW20. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and do blush. So I'm going to use my Nude Sticks in Tiger Lily Queen. I don't know why I can't. I need to use a brush for this because I just got to. set my brows. I'm going to use this Glossier Brow Boy in clear. Like I'm going to go in with this Stay and Spray by Tarte. It's Neutrogena. Neutrogena has such great stuff. This is a liquid highlighter. It's called Glow On. And it's just very natural looking. This is the um, Neutrogena Hydro Boost Illuminator in Rose Gold. And I'm going to put that in my inner corner. Claire de Lune. I like it. All right, so I'm done, guys. I am finally done I still I'm, I'm still impressed with this all right guys so um thanks for watching and I hope to see you soon
Alright, bye.